by the grace of God, today, look at me, today is the third, right? Today is the third Sunday. God has brought you into the third Sunday. And gradually we will finish January. Gradually we will finish February. You will see yourself in 31st of this year, December. I believe God will do that for you. Lift up your right hand. You want to say this after me? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This morning, this morning, I declare, I declare that I will receive the word. That I receive the word with my spirit open. With my spirit open. With my heart open. With my heart open. The word of God. The word of God will be a blessing unto me. Will be a blessing unto me. I will never. I will never. I will never, I will never be limited, be limited from receiving my portion, from receiving my portion of the blessing, of the blessing. This morning, this morning, oh Lord, oh Lord, I am here, I am here that I can be blessed, that I can be blessed. I am here, I am here to receive a word, to receive a word that will bring a transformation, that will bring a transformation in my life, in my life. Oh God, oh God, let your word, let your word open me up into treasure, into the treasures of God. Let your word open me up to receive to receive to receive to receive to receive blessings blessings in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible tells me the Bible tells me no one comes to you no one comes to you and go back the same. Go back the same. Therefore therefore I am not going back the same. Not going back the same. In Jesus name. In Jesus. Put your hands together and take your seat. Hallelujah. We are going to be blessed this morning. And I came to assure somebody that you are not going to leave the presence of God the same. I've started a series. I started last week. And uh, last two weeks, you will be fruitful. And last week, we saw that every tree planted by the rivers of waters becomes fruitful. And then our main verse, let's turn to our main verse, Psalm 1. Read from verse 1 to verse 3. Can we do some prophetic work? Can we make declaration this morning? I feel strong in my spirit that we should make some declaration. Turn to the person sitting close to you and tell the person, you shall be blessed. You shall be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your leaves will not wither. We bless the Lord. Father, we thank you as your word comes. We ask in the name of Jesus that it will come in power. Pray that your word will come in its own season to be a blessing. Let the heavens be open this morning. Speak to us in Jesus' name. So Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the ways of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scoffer. Verse 2. Verse 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his, in his law do he meditate day and day, day and night. Verse 3. And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. I tell you that message is trending. I tell you. I mean, there's a video. We fired it out there. It is trending. There is something happening in this house. And you see, there's a way you can see close to a blessing, but you can lose it. I'm telling you. By the grace of God, Paul said, I don't boast, but I boast in Christ Jesus. We know what God has given us. We know the blessing, the giftings God has planted in, in us. And any time we speak a word there, God has a way of touching life. This message, my provider chancellor, as I is, he watched it online, he called me, he said, I have recorded the message. I play it all the time. And that same week, I was down, depression, things I know. But when I heard the word, my spirit bowed again. There was some restoration. And within a short time, he was struggling to come out with the calendar. You know, because of the COVID, there are calendars that, I mean, we have to come out with academic calendar. And they have to, he just turned it. And I can, I say, Pro Vice Chancellor, he's the one who's supposed to draw the calendar. He's in charge of the academic administration, you know. Uh, and he was struggling. But within a short while, he said he felt a lifting. Let me tell you something. There is something in this house. There's, every church has an angel. Every church has a leader that has been assigned. And I tell you, as you come here with your heart open, God's going to bless you. Today, I came in another dimension. Can I prophesy to somebody here? If last week you were planted by the waters, 
if last week your weed, your seed, uh, your leaf didn't wither, I am telling you this week is a time for fruitfulness. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, when you look at the word of God, three things, put the verse three over there for me. Three things happen there. Three things. It said, number one, it shall be like the tree planted by the waters. It said, number two, your leaves will not wither. Now, your leaves not being, I mean, I mean, uh, your leaves will not wither simply means that you shall be strengthened by the spirit of God. Haven't you, haven't you seen a tree that is planted somewhere, you don't see water around it, but yet the leaves are fruitful. It means its source is not by the, uh, I mean, by the, by the fascia or whatever. He is deeply rooted and he's getting water from under, the underworld. When you are deeply rooted in God, though physically things will not be good to some people, but you will see yourself becoming fruitful. The reason why you see yourself becoming fruitful is because you are connected to God and not unto man. And that is what I came here to tell you last week. And I'm emphasizing on it this morning that so far as you are connected to God, you will not lack anything. You shall be fruitful. But not only that. He said, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, waters that bring forth his fruit in its season, his leaf also shall not wither. And look at the next one. He said, whatsoever he does, shall what? Shall what? Turn to somebody, say, the thing, say the, to the person, you shall prosper. If you live in God, you shall prosper. You shall what? You shall what? You shall what? Okay, let's take it from where we left off. It said, he will be like a tree planted by the waters and bring forth his fruit in this season. Can I speak to somebody today? I don't like your speech this morning. You are too dull. You know, sometimes you know, church, church you know how to bring down oil or pastors, especially when some people have some wrong facial expression. Are you depressed this morning? I know that is no. I mean, be, be active this morning. Tell somebody to be active. Now, the Bible says that because you are connected to God, you don't waste your season. Whilst others are suffering to bear forth, you see your business bearing forth fruits. You see fruitfulness in your family. You see fruitfulness in your finances. Why? Because you are connected to God. He bears his fruit in his season. What it means is that you don't miss your season of blessing. You don't miss your season of fruitfulness. Can I prophesy to somebody? As you sit under the sound of my voice, I am bringing forth life, the word of God to you, that anyone that is connected to God, anyone that believes in Yahweh, you will bear your fruit in your season. It means that when it is the season for corn to bear forth, or for season of corn to be seen, I mean, all over, corn will be seen all over. It is not for the season, it's not the season for okra to show forth. Because everything bears fruit in its season. Corn has its time to bear fruit. And we have cassava time. We have okra time. So what it means is that when it is the time for corn, okra dare not to show forth his faith. Am I speaking to somebody? Let me spiritualize everything. If it's your time for God to reward you, the devil don't dare show forth his face. And that is what I am bringing to you this morning. Your season of bearing fruit, you will not miss it. I say you will not miss it. Because you will bear your fruit in your season. Ah, when your season... Have you ever seen the season of, uh, I mean, corn coming, and you don't see roasted corn, boiled corn, corn here, banku here, everything corn. Wherever you drive, you drive 10 minutes on the street, somebody is roasting corn. You drive 5 minutes on the street, somebody is boiling corn. May that be your story. That in your season, your saints will be felt. In your season, your family members will know that you have arrived. Tell somebody, I am about to arrive. Nothing can stop you from arriving. I came to speak only one word and I'm not here to speak to everybody. I am here to speak to only one person. The person who believes in that prophetic word. If you are the one, shout I am the one. I say shout I am the one. You will bear your fruit in your season. Everybody will know it is your time. There is a time to die. There is a time to laugh. There is a time to be sad. There is a time to be fruitful. And when your time comes, I am not the one saying it. 
The Bible says you will bear your fruit in your season. Son, it is my season. I am not feeling you. Son, it is my season. Unless you don't believe it, I don't think come, I didn't come here to preach for everybody. I came to believe, preach for those who believe in the word of God. I said, when your season comes, you will become unstoppable. Why? Because you will bear fruit in your own season. Your business will spring up again. Your marriage will bring up again. There will be joy in your marriage again. There will be peace in your marriage again. When it is your season of marriage, everyone will witness it. Oh, yesterday I was in a wedding. I was in a wedding. And everybody was there, not because of me. When you go to a wedding, nobody looks at you because you have a beautiful dress. They are there to observe and look at the bride. How sweet the bride looks. How wonderful the bride looks. Every car sees. Ah, there was traffic in wherever I went. Because they are parked all over the street. Because the parking lot couldn't contain the car. Why? Because of one person. I came to announce to somebody. When your season comes, everything will stand still. When your season comes, everything will stand still. You will see God visiting you. You will see miracles visiting you. You will see breakthrough visiting you. Who am I speaking with? If you are the one, son, I am the one. You shall bear fruit in your season. Do you know what it means? People will be asking questions. When you went to do submit your application? When did they turn down your business plan? Why are you re- everywhere there will be confusion? Now we're so bad about Hallelujah. You will bear fruit in your season. Do you know what it means? It means God will reward your labor. Can I speak to somebody here? You will not only be a standing tree planted by the waters, but you will bear fruit in your season, which means God will reward your labor. Charlie, when you are tilling the land and you are doing very farm, it's not easy. It's not easy. The other day I was in a car with administrator, church administrator, going to get something. I mean, sorry, not the administrator, uh, Alex, the, the immediate, we're going to get uh, our video camera. We had a new video camera. And whilst we're there, you see Pepe. Plenty. It is so plenty that cars have driven on some of them because it's so f- plenty. Fruitfulness have come. And I say, hey, where are they going to sell all this? In pepper all over. You can spread. And it is not the red pepper. You can see, I'm talking about green pepper and all those things. And it can see it is the season. Everywhere is smelling pepper. And I say, Alex, how can they sell all this thing? Because pepper, pepper here, pepper here, pepper there, pepper here. And I say, ah, all over. Yeah. May the, God, may the Lord pepper your enemies anyway. <laughs> Amen. And I said, pepper, smelly pepper. And that's all. And I said, I'm so, oh, farmers. mess. When the thing also comes, they cannot stop it. So as plenty as it becomes fruitful, they pack everything to the city. They just dump their boom. And they can't do anything about it. Why? Because the, the fruitfulness is uncontrollable. Because when the pepper is say, I have arrived, will you say you will not miss? You will just pluck it and go and say. So they, they have it so abundant that it's in sack, sacks. And you can smell that some are even rotting because the sack couldn't contain the amount. They have pressed it to a point that they couldn't contain. So now it's in bowls, it's in barrels, and it is just there. Why am I trying to say something? What am I trying to say this morning? What I'm trying to tell you this morning is that when your season comes, you overflow your boundaries. You overflow your lands. You, you cannot be I mean, kept under, under strap, under bondage. They cannot keep you. The Bible says, who will light a, a, a light and, and push it under the bushes? Because bushes can't take light. You can't hide light because wherever it is to shine, when your season comes, your, your labor is rewarded. Nobody labor and it doesn't, I mean, receive any. If you labor and you don't see anything, that is why. I don't want to say this, but you see, Ghana, eh? They have labor union. <laughs> Am I right, big man? They have labor union. What it means that these are there is a union of people who labor. <laughs> people are joining on un- an unemployment graduate association. God forbid, you will not join. <laughs> when your season comes, God rewards your labor. And then sometimes when you are suffering and nobody knows who, 
God punish the devil. When you are going through pain, nobody knows who. When you are suffering, nobody knows. Let God bless you and buy the car of your choice. Hey, hey, swag mama, slave queen, slave queen. Uh, very so I'm seeing maybe they will say slave men. I have not yet to see slave men. Now, now if you are being blessed, they say slave queen. But if, if you are a man, they say occultic. That is the most popular name. Oh, this young man who is away. Dealings in bad business, occultic. Anything good is occultic. So why, where will you place God? Because when your season of fruitfulness comes, it means it is a rewarding of your labor. When I'm laboring, where were you? I stand under the ocean of God. And I decree and declare unto you. Anybody who speak evil about your blessing, let your labor go to the blessing. When I'm laboring, you are not here. You see the way we have Mianga ourselves in this small place. Let me start building a thousand, two thousand seat auditorium. Oh, no, 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 it's a court. Let somebody bless me out of my labor with a new car. And let me start. Ah, I'll start just saying, Chelsea, what a car. Nyami and Panishopa. I speak over your life. May the Lord reward your labor. Bearing fruit in your season means God is rewarding your labor. And my people of God, Christian, it's not easy. The devil, those who are in the world, the devil answer them quickly. Very quick, smart. One man, you sacrifice, no, pa, money drop. But if you worship God, you will labor. <laughs> you will cry. But no, the Bible says in Romans, it says that I went through suffering, victory was shown. You will go through suffering, victory will be shown. So, whatever you are going through, pay. He said, relax not over, over God because your time will come that there will be a reward for you. God always rewards a genuine labor. When you suffer in life, it is not because you are cursed. God wants you to go through so that when his glory comes, you shall be, you, shall, you, can, you can see it. Now, the Bible said the other day, and they were walking with Jesus, and one asked, Master, this man who is blind from birth, is it the sin of the mother or the father? Is it any curse that is in the family? The Bible says Jesus turned to them. In answering them, he said, no. No sin from the mother, neither is it from the father. But that's my glory, the glory of God will be seen. Sometimes you go through a lot of pain, not because your house is a curse, not because your house is under a curse, not because you yourself you are cursed, but so that the glory of God will be seen. But most at times when we are going through the pain, we come under friends' influence and the negative influence of the enemy through our friends that we give up so quickly on God. Do not give up on God. Very soon your labor will be rewarded. I say, very soon your labor will be rewarded. I have seen God reward. David said, I've been young, but now I've grown. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed of the righteous begging for bread. You will not beg for bread. I say, You will not beg for bread. You see that small business you are doing, and keep, keep at it. You see that thing that you are working, that business you are working, and money have hooked there, money is not coming and all that. You just be patient for God. Very soon, those who are looking at you and laughing, say, hey, laughing, hey, his business are choked. That is it. But he says, self God, let's see what happens. Very soon, there will be an overflow. The same people will come down to you begging for help. I prophesy over your life. Your labor will be rewarded very soon. I say, your labor will be rewarded very soon. Look at somebody and say, sister, brother. No, that is if the woman is sitting close. Say, sister. If a man say, brother. Say, brother, sister. Your labor will be rewarded very soon. He said, he will bear fruit in this season. Hallelujah. The fruits there represent results. He said, he will bear fruit in this season. What it means that when you labor and you plant, you will get results in your season. Anytime you write exam, you have to get results. Anytime you put in an investment, you have to get results. Anytime you are in a project, you must get results. When you write exams, you must get results. Sometimes I feel it, you take a paper and say, paper, you know, I suffer for years. Eh? You don't know what you're talking about. Anytime you write an exam, you must receive results. So your fruit stands for results. I see somebody having results. I see somebody having results. You will have your results in your season. There is time to write exams. There is time to receive your reward. Which is your results. So when your time comes and other people's results are in and yours is not in, you see the way you get worried. Because you know the results should come in this season. Why have I been, I mean, left out? This year, 2021, 
I came here. Listen, oh, I'm on a long journey. So you should understand where the fire is coming from. You better receive with all your hands. I came this morning to prophesy by the word of God. So avail yourself and receive. I came here this Can I speak to somebody here? Can I speak to somebody here? I came here not to speak to everyone. But to anyone whose heart, spirit, soul, and body has been open to receive this. I speak to you this morning. That in 2021, your results will come speedily. Your results will come quickly. Receive it right now. You bear for your fruit in season. Your results comes in season. Anything that tries to forbid you from receiving your blessing in its season, may the Lord fight that thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You receive your fruit, which represents your results in the right season. And you see, I want to tell you something. You can plant a seed and it will appear. You can plant corn. You can plant other seedlings and it will appear. You see it big. And it will be representing to you that it's time for it to bear fruit. But it may not bear fruit. We have seen Cassava trees, cassava being planted, and it has bowed so strongly. You see the branches coming fresh, and you know it is time to, 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 for it to rise. You are put it, and you just see that it is full of roots and all that. So, the fact that the tree is representing, showing that it is time to bear fruit, doesn't mean it will bear fruit. It can take from the soil, but will not give by what it's supposed to. Can I prophesy to somebody? Bearing fruit and having it results in season, what it means is that you will not just grow as a tree and show bad flowers to show that you are right to read. I mean, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are already time to, to bear fruit and nothing. Because we have seen life that have grown and they have bad, but nothing to show. I have seen men and women who have grown so beautifully, handsomely, and they are still living in their parents' homes. They are still living in their mother and father's home. Everything shows that you are ready to marry. Everything shows, but you are not getting it. Today, I came under the ocean of God. And I speak to everyone under the sound of my voice. That in 2021, you will not only buy, you will not only stand as a tree. Nothing to represent. But you shall be a tree that has fruits to represent. You will have results. I want to prove it to you in the Bible. The Bible says one day Jesus was walking with his disciples after a long day work, healing the sick, preaching. He came to an almond tree, very tired. He needed food to eat. The Bible says that when Jesus looked on the tree, the tree has every characteristic that shows that it should bear fruit, it should carry fruit, but nothing to show. And Jesus looked at it and said, you, you have nothing to, I curse you. By the time Jesus returned, the tree has withered. You will not be that story. Or that will not be your story. That when your time comes for you to also spare back to society, you will still be growing in age and you have nothing to show. Can I speak over your head? I prophesy. Oh, yeah, will not run dry over your life. Ah, oh, yeah, stand for prosperity. Nothing will run dry. Oh, yeah, will not run dry. Your business will prosper. Your marriage will prosper. Everything you hand touches shall be fruitful. You will bear fruit in your season. Ah, if Jesus cares, how much more human being? Jesus cares it. How much more? He does. What's that? What, uh, let's say a hungry man is an angry man. So what it means that when a man is angry, you better pro provide food before you talk. Okay, I'm a January. Oh, baby. Nothing over baby, I tell you. Oh, you are looking so handsome. Oh, who did this? My friend. There's time for everything. I need food. You are not coming to baby me. And there are times I'll tell you something funny. The women like to do that. Meaning, you say, you have your mama and so answer. Oh, me, Mira, no, so answer. There are times you don't give us water. I drank water when I was coming. I need food. I feel like I'm going to my room. I'm not going to go to my room. Hello? I know many women do that. Oh, men, do you, do you agree with men? 
what is doing me? Go and go, don't go and say that English anyway. What is doing me inside? Ah, bring me food. So, but you need to wash your hands. I know I need to wash my hands. Sometimes, eh, it is not the washing of the hands. See the food alone. Who, the aroma alone gives me an early satisfaction before washing my hands. It shows that there is something to eat. Don't look at me, women, with those eyes. Don't look at me. Oh, me, Rababa, they carry water. Please, bring the food first. I am not going to dip my hands in it because I know it can stop me, but the aroma of the food gives me a reassurance an assurance that, oh, the, the thing is ready. And sometimes, you want to garnish the food. So, bring me water to wash my hands and take 10 minutes. What is that? There are Test some of these times and seasons. Oh, we're growing up. You can play. Ah, you can't dip your hand in. If it's clean, it will have killed out by now. You know, sometimes women they fall out of season. Not in their own personal life. Oh. You know, you you see, a wonderful and a smart wife will know that. Charlie, Papa. The facial expression alone carry bomb. So you can see. And I thank God for my lovely wife. Because when you see them, you know that hey, this man. <laughs> now you see now, I'm in the wilderness. And when the man who is in the wilderness, the wife pray. My wife thank God and sing praise hallelujah. Whenever I'm on a long journey like this, going 40. Sometimes I say 40, but I tell I'm, I'm entering 60. Yes. Already as I'm standing here, 40 is gone already. We are still on. Knowing that, he knows that, oh, this way is a free season. It's a free season. So in the evening, you say, oh, dear, I gave you some warm water and honey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but there are times you want to fall out of your season. How do you fall out of season? The day, the day your romantic move comes, you want to take two hours to sell food. And sometimes, oh no, women, I'm not on you too strong. I'll bounce back to the men as well. <laughs> so at times, you see, you might not know the mood of your husband. You want to, oh, today let me do something special. Yesterday I didn't like the mood, but today I want to shock him. So when you even prepare banco and do the roll the, of the ball, two balls, you cut onion square plus tomatoes, and you want to decorate the banco, and that can take about five minutes. And then the fish. After you have fried the fish, the pepper, half an open side, the cross of the cross of the I mean crucifixion, cross, cassette, toast, tomato, not the then they are one. Nothing no baby drop kakamo to be full of a numb for another day. Massa, I am not having time for you are falling out of your city. Carry the thing. Know what is right at the right time. Know what to do at the right time. But this year. Your business will bear fruit in its own season. You will not be a tree that cannot produce anything. We have many trees in the forest. All they do is to produce leaves and the leaves drop and they will die and they make rubbish. There's a tree that is being planted. When you go to some homes, you see, it has small, small leaves. Every day, now you ball. It can grow and, and drop. Why should I plant tree that can grow and drop its leaves? And every day I'm, I'm sweeping. It is not. Oh, oh my shade. There is no tree. I mean, any tree that's supposed to give shade, it is specific. It's only shade. But no tree was created by God only to give shade. There's, there's, there, any tree you think is giving you shade is medicinal. If you are working in the place and you don't see fruit being generated in this season, please locate somewhere else. Sometimes, and we say, oh God, God, let me be here. It will be fine. You have been here six months, no salary. There, one year, no salary. And you have wife, you have children, you have, I mean, and you are still there. God will give us a harvest. One day, there will be open heavens. Me, if I marry you, and since now you are not working, and I'm seeing that you are serious, I won't fight with you. I'll be looking for a job for you. By the time you realize, I said, yeah, I'm taking your TV here, go there. And you 
see them on there, you know, I love the company. I built some foundation one year now, and the manager loved me. The, the, the manager marry you to work or employ you to work. Because if you say the manager loves you, that means that you are rejecting my love. Okay, you want to marry him, go and marry him. <laughs> one year, nothing to show. And you are still there, and you can't, baby. I am going. I'm giving you food well for the car or transport to go. Why yeah? Nothing to show. You, this company has fallen out of his city. And you are speaking big tongues. That tongues will heal the ceiling and get back on your own heads. Because nothing is going to work. God has given us wisdom. For one year you are working and nothing is showing. Trust God to move out. Move out immediately. This year, you can't fail to work without fruitfulness. You can't. You, you can't. Telling you, I told you last time, you have to be a blessing, otherwise, I'm making a lot of noise without yielding anything. I'm doing my part, do your part. Tell somebody, do your part. Tell somebody, do your part. Hallelujah! You will bear fruit in your season. Not only that, he said, planted by riverside, that birth bring forth his fruit in his season, his leaf shall not wither. And whatsoever, what? Whatsoever, what? Oh, are we having church? Whatsoever he what? Shall be what? He shall what? He shall what? He shall what? That is the fourth point. Prospering in all you do. Last time in our greater ones, or the great, one of the greater ones, um, uh, Bishop. No, uh, what do you call it? Ashimolo, Reverend Ashimolo, was speaking to us. And he said he has a friend he plays golf with. The first time they introduced that friend to him, simple. He was wearing jeans and some black covers, came to his office, and the friend said, oh, this is my best friend, sir. He's a businessman. And he left it there. He's a businessman. And according to him, when he looked at the man, he said, ah, but this guy doesn't know the one he's coming to. He's wearing lacoste and some uh, slippers and all those things here. So one day, whilst they were having lunch together, the man told him that, oh, Bishop, you know, I've loved you for some time. I've been following your messages. I know you are a man of integrity. You are a very intelligent man of God. And I like you. So I think we should see somewhere and then we have to we'll just chat so that we know ourselves. <laughs> so after playing golf, they decided to sit at a, a place and you know they serve them. He has servants. He has a golf course. They have servants and all that. So we are serving. And so okay, last time he said, "Oh, that's so yes." I'm a businessman, like my friend said, you know. But my kind of business, I normally don't go to the office. It's it's, it's hectic, you know. So I sit at home when I feel like going, I'm going. And I then I go. And the man said, ah, "You feel like going, go." Eh, yeah, that's all. Did I hear you say you feel like going? Go. I said, oh yeah, because it's interconnected and it's so plenty that our uh, people who manage it. And they said, so what kind of work is that? He said, I give power to most of the telecommunication industry. We operate. He said, power. How? Oh, he said most of their IT engines that they use to operate. I give it to them. MTN is one of them. Other institutions, one. He was a big, he's a reverend minister, powerful. He said, huh? Then remember that, hey, I'm a reverend. I have closed the mouth. So, okay. The man makes millions of dollars in hours. So, he said, oh, okay, you are my bishop now, so I can open a little. So, he opened, he took his tablet, it's okay, see. <laughs> one page, one slot. He showed it to you. I want to say, look. And then he saw. You see jackpot. The way they play jackpot. Oh, the stock essay. You see the way the figures roll. He said, okay. The sun you see, the figures that is rolling across the globe. Every two hours, one of my connected agents pay this money. So when you see within 30 minutes, about 20 companies, agents across the world is paying into my account. And he said, okay, this is one account. This is the payment account. Logistics account. Then the OP. He said, please, don't let me collapse. Don't have a pastor. 
So all this, who do you pay your tithe to? You say, oh, I, when I look at people need one and then I drop it. He said, uh, you are in my church now. And the whole world was talking. That car can, buy, can build over 10 mansions. That amount. The whole world talking. What am I trying to tell you? When God makes you fruitful, you will be standing at your home and commanding wealth. And it will come in this season. Listen, I am trusting God for your life. That if not anything, for 2021, you will not lack that which you... I mean, there are some basic things when you lack, eh? It's like hell has broken loose upon you. And that is why the white... Let me speak to the whites because I know we are, not, we are life. That's why they think we are poor. We are not poor. We are not poor. Just that we are not... I mean, we are not operating in the, in the dimension of God's word to bring us the result we want. No, 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 no. Because... If Bill Gates can use the word to make him part. Now, they say it's, it's vaccine. Some people are trying to condemn. He has to say, Bill Gates is the devil. He wants to kill all Africans with vaccine. And somebody said, don't take the vaccine. And then there's a woman who is shaking. Have you seen that video? And say, the vaccine, the vaccine, the vaccine. You see, because on the way, what liberty is thinking for Christians and coming out with vaccine, whether it's an antichrist or no, he has managed to ingest some couples of thousands of people already with the vaccine and has collected the money. The money is sitting in the account. What am I trying to tell you? May God bless you, eh? That you will not move out of your season. That any time a blessing is coming, it will come right on point, right on spot. Whatever you need, you'll be able to buy. Am I blessing somebody here? Tell to somebody, tell the person, you will bear fruit. Tell the person, you will bear fruit. And you see, when we talk about fruitful person, bearing fruit in your season, it must be all, sorry, it must be all round. Do you know all round? Have you seen people who is rich? Somebody who is rich, oh, but all his riches, every week he has to buy oxygen, thousand dollars. So all the money you, you get is for, he, I mean, taking care of sickness. No, you are not fruitful. You are partially fruitful. <laughs> but when we talk about the fruitfulness of God, it is all round. You have good health. And watch the, the rich. You see somebody 60, 70 years, like a 40 year old. I know a 60 year old woman. I used to say that some of us, we fear God. We are not greedy people. 60, when you see her, you might think it's 38, late 30. The cream she uses on, and she has a special cream that maintains her flesh. And small pots like this. It's a pastor. It's not that a black American. It's not that I want to brag or something. But have you seen this screen? People say I'm beautiful. I look so beautiful. I'm 60 years. This cream is $2,500. And I have 10 of them. And it finishes in two months. So any time. $2,500. You have a cream that finishes in a month. In two months. What's that? This is not compared to us. You, you must, you must, you must. The Bible says, whatsoever your heart desire, it says, it says, crave, crave for this, for spiritual crave. Crave. Master, it is not compared to us. So when you see good things, let your spirit love it. Move your heart. You have spoken against good things. Ah, that your spirit is becoming, is crumbling. You, your body is crumbling. Your face, everything. Because anything you see is demonic. Small girl, say call them. When the money man in comfort couldn't do that, I know to talk as I can see. Master, you don't know what the girl does. Just wait to see what the girl does before you conclude. Young young girls, I'm over myself. Guys, wait. And then I'm not crying. No cool, no dear. We are going to be You don't know what you have decided to stick to one salary job. That when your salary comes before you leave. Somebody is not doing salary. The dirty ones who can't do, that's what he's doing. I'm telling you. I have a friend, Pastor. I said, I said, this, I, I did not show, but are you not sure that you have kept to this monitor and you are drained from there? So, Master, I don't die, please. I preach with fire. I don't die, Pastor. Didn't we go to fast? 
I say, oh yeah, we did. Who's oh, your bar now? I told her, do you need to be a woman before? This man has a, a barber saloon, a women's saloon. He, he has a granite paste. He supplied granite paste to the market women. He, he has a, a blending machine that will come in. I mean, I mean, also. He has a church. He has a. I said, ah. He said, she's there. What was the inspiration? He said, when I see the wealthy people commanding wet and splashing it on the face of so called Christians, my heart bleeds. There is money in this country. But we pray that God open my eyes. Do you know what? He has a coconut farm. He called it coconut farm. There is no any farm. He has just modified those who sell coconut on the street and they wear dirty clothes, dirty uh, this thing, their hands dirty, their cutlasses, cutlasses they used to cut, they say everything dirty so that they, they believe that their brandy tool should be dirty so that they know that you just came from a coconut fresh. But he has a coconut farm. He has got a nice map built with uh, uh, pallet, no pallet, the one they put things on the street. He has built that place nicely and he has, I mean, designed the coconut and then he has one he mixed it with fruit juice if you like orange, you will mix it with orange and you will sit in the, in the place that has air condition and he has managed to win key people who come there for coconut lunch if you want to package it there's a nice glass, they will package it but that glass bottle will go for 10 cities and so what is 10 CD? 10 CD is money. When would you calculate 10 CD? 10 CD. 10, 10, 10 CD. When? 10 coconut is how much? Hello, 10 coconut is how much? Your job that you do, do they mark you 100 CD a day? That is why I tell you, don't joke with artisans, carpenters, and all those. Don't joke with them. Especially when you are building, you will envy them. So, Pastor, carpenters take 100 CD a day. A carpenter. 100 CD a day. Some even take more. You don't wash a tie. Who they calculate your tie? No, I wash your tie, your shoe, and your shoe, the executive, which is more than 100 CD you are wearing. You put on tie and go and sit in the, in the, in the office, see the face of computer, watch all sort of things, and wait for 30 minutes. You are not marked 10 CD, 100 CD a day. But the problem that you think that your, your, your release is not good to see. Jump into your manhole. By the time he finished with you, he has charged you three days money. And you are there and say there is no money. This year, May God open your eyes to see waters from the desert. What I'm trying to say is that see opportunities when others are not seeing. A guy picked my my my, my rubbish, my my this is because Do Lion was delayed two weeks, so we have to, the tricycle guys. He's now my best friend, and I said. How long have you been doing it? So that you have been doing it for six years. I said, huh? Carrying Bola for six years. And then he laughed. <laughs> oh, daddy. What is wrong? It's my job. I said, okay. Tell me more. So this motto is it yours. And so daddy, I know that's the first thing you asked me. Because it took a foolish man to carry this rubbish for six years. And you are still <laughs> renting by tricycle or taking somebody's tricycle. No, that's not it though. When I turned two years in this business, I bought that tricycle. And you can see it's dirty. I want this history to always remind me so I can work harder. I have 17 of this. I say, huh? Say it again. He said, how, how did you get it? He said, okay. Daddy, you have time. I said, I have time. This is my house. Tell me. <laughs> he said, okay. When I worked for two years, I was able to buy the bicycle I'm using. So I calculated that if two years I bought the bicycle, it means the years the guy bought the bicycle and gave it to me to, for work and pay, he has worked extra. So I decided and I focused my mind that though I used two years to buy this, by two years' time, I should buy four. So do you know what he did? He bought the first bicycle, gave it to somebody, they signed an agreement. 
if you're supposed to close at eight, because by seven I have made my sales for the fuel, something for my pocket. If you're supposed to close six and you close seven, man, you're ten sitting out of your money. And they all sign. So when you come, maybe you close, close supposed to close four and you come five thirty, you say, man, you ten sitting. Whether you make my sales or not, man, you're ten sitting. So now, one person is using one bicycle, but by two years, he's buying additional one to what he's using. By minus. <laughs> Ask me what? He said, no, no, daddy. I don't have only that. Out of the interest of those, that one, I have bought a, a, a kube, cassava, a, a, what do you call it? Coconut trees. I said, my house will buy coconut trees. He said, well, there's an agreement I've made. I can show you. I said, do you want to come to 18 Road down there? There's a house there. They have plenty of I mean, coconut in the house. The man knows I have bought them. And they signed two years. So, so far as the coconut become fruitful, it is for my profit. profit. Now, those of you, if you have applied Community 18, this new road, you see in Jehovah's Witness, under the tree, you see two coconut fellas. They have tracks that they put on it. It belongs to the guy. If you go forward, police station, you see the police station, Sakuna police station, immediately after the police station, there's another thing like this. Before you get to Methodist, uh, the block factory. You see coconut seller after the police station, under the trees there, with umbrella. It belongs to the guy. But all those working, he has employed all of them. He said, Papa, I looked at the one that I visited you in church. And there was a day the, the rubbish collectors do, failed to come. So I asked him to come. He said, Okay, Papa, I'll come. When he came, the way he was dressed, I let the guy get some swag. And I said, Ah, with all your swag, you can't say, Papa, that, this is the real me. But when it comes to business, I don't miss my season. I step into business. And operate as a businessman. Ask me whether it's a Ghanaian. That's the poor thing. That's the disappointing thing. It's from Niger. One day, a guy saw the same tricycle Ghanaian guy with his girlfriend sitting close and they are working. They insulted the girl. They insulted her spirit out of her. Foolish girl, beautiful girl. Whose children is it? Somebody even wrote a road. What, 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 I mean, which ladies of this thing, I won't say it, gave birth to this. That beautiful girl, someone said, didn't she go to school? The girl also knew, so he put there a university graduate. They said, no, this guy, and people start writing, we're born in them. This is occult. This is this. He has blindfolded again. He, the girl is under serious spiritual uh, uh, slavery. They wrote all sorts of grammar. Because a beautiful girl is sitting close to a, a, a rubbish baller collector. But you know what? A week later, the same baller collector. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. May God open your eyes. Oh. This year, may God, what people are not saying, may God. You see Zoom Lion today? When you enter his office, me, I'm a pastor, I have entered there before. So, man of God, when I was growing up, the seed he gave me a loan was my, my first man's salary. My man's salary. I look at him and say, no, down here. Very humble. Say, man of God, prof, I'll know that. Say, no, that here. What you're giving me will double in your logistics. I'm not a duty pastor. Other pastors will go again. He gave my salary. The following week, this same border collector, dressed nicely with the same university girl, standing in the very nice house. And then they posted it, boom. He didn't write anything. Because you know there will be, I mean, by means, there will be response. And somebody came, oh, baller, this baller boy again. What are they, they want ties or what? Do you want ties? You can't want, you don't get ties with baller, baller. He waited until they wrote, ah, uh-huh. then he came and said, this is not baller, man. This is my house. And do you know what? Not knowing, he has taken pictures 
with this same university girl and they are posted in their rooms, their television, everything. And when they saw it, oh, somebody changed. Sorry. This world, there. Yeah. No, no man after the flesh. So this world, you don't insult people. And the guy there today, enough of your nonsense. Learn to be hardworking. Ghanaian young people, learn to be hardworking. Stop lazy around. I sat them on my street almost all the time. You see them hot afternoon, Saturday afternoon, with cameramen, with uh, umbrellas, or what do you call it? Then they will be posted. <laughs> do all sorts of poses. And 24 7, they are on the internet, posing. I pack my car and say, Stop this nonsense. Home. This is my terrain. Where do you school? See, daddy, we are just taking pictures. You say, oh, what? Use this time for something important. Not on my street. And now, it's like a spirit. All the young girls are now squatting every day, 20 times, so they can get hips and bombs. And then you see them taking pictures. They don't take their face, oh, from their hip level. And they will just come and load their bombs. What is that? Generation of day. I saw a video going viral. Somebody is in church and watching women bones and pictures. I mean, I mean, I mean, what is happening? Every serious soul will not waste time on nonsense. I'm telling you, not that I'm spiritual. Thank you. Not that I'm spiritual. But when I married my wife, it took time for him to have to win by taking me out. Please, I, when I say this, I'm not black. I'm telling you who I am so that you don't say, Pastor, he has a different character. In, in, in. The way I am, that's how I am. When I, the way you see me, you don't have two faces. You are not chameleon. You are a human being. So, so there, can we go out and see that? So, there to do what? Hey, so you have everything to do what? So she added my, my name. Hey, to do what? <laughs> Apostle General, to do what? So I realized that I'm losing it. I need to come back. And they will come to my room. Hey, daddy. The mother will tell me, hey. I know mothers, when they send girls, young children, they, 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 the way the children will react, you know that this one, the, there's a mafia game going on. This girl walks in my room. Hey, daddy, praying for money to daddy. When are you stopping? Bye, 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 bye. When are you stopping? I said, get out. You will give me five minutes. Hey, daddy. Daddy, is there any drink in the fridge? I said, God. Torture me ah. now. So I said, okay, let's go. Let's show God here. I said, hmm, I don't like this show God. I want the one that they sell at Dungeon Mall. I said, huh? I'm doing it. He said, Daddy, you wait for you. You come and knock again. Dungeon Mall, please. It took me time. It took me time to know how to go. I know because I don't know. I am so engaged. I have a vision. I'm so passionate about my academics, passionate with what I do. I have time for them. There are times after service. But sometimes, like I said, women will jump out of their season. They want your season. So do <laughs> Okro want the season of May, so he will show his face. But what I'm saying is that when you are a focused person, certain things don't matter to you. People may not understand you until you. You see, rich men who are buying all the cars that you can buy. It's because they don't have time for nonsense. They don't have time for things that will not matter. Whilst you are snoring, they are behind their computer at midnight. How can I make double my money last week? And I know women, when they are receiving enough from their husband, obey, obey, obey. Listen to me, men who want to marry, and those who are married. Anytime you see your face of your wife squeeze, you are not doing your job. You are not pumping money too much. Stop pumping them. You'll be the bay. <laughs> when you pump, bay. <laughs> before, what is the name? What is the word? Before others or what? Before any other, anyone, yes. Yes, bay. Yeah, B-A-E, bay. <laughs> bay, you there? <laughs> Be there. <laughs> Let the money start dropping. <laughs> it will turn to baby. <laughs> hey, 
this year, you will not miss your season. May God give you wisdom. Wisdom to make it back. Are you ready to pray? I want you to pray one prayer for me. God, give me the wisdom that will bring me eternal return. There's one business, if you are led by God, it can rise up on your feet. And we are close to rise up on your feet. God, give me. Give me. Give me. Please do come early so we can have a nice time. Lift up your right hand. I want to give you the opportunity. Just pray this prayer. Lord, this year, I, I pray for new divine ideas. Give me quick ideas that will give me quick results. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Quick idea, divine ideas that will give me quick results in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ma tomi hataza, rakaba lagadusha, ikonomi hatazas, lekronto zibri kisto pahadis, ikaparagadasayas. In the name of Jesus, lebron no zimre kostayas. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Pray, God, give me ideas, give me new ideas, ideas to make impact, ideas to change my world. Ideas to get, oh God, enough blessing that I can be a blessing to the church. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your right hand. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, give your people new ideas. Blessings. Ideas to be blessed. The Bible says the other day, a girl was frustrated and crying because he, he has been, she has been thrown to the desert with Ishmael. But Lord, after hearing the cry of the child, on the same desert, you opened the eyes of Agar and she saw water. I pray that in 2021, in the desert, where your people have hit their limit, and it looks like nothing is coming out of the business. Open your eyes to see new ideas. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This year, may your feet never hit a stone. Whatever business you are doing, may the Lord increase that business. May the Lord bring abundance in that business. Thank you, Father. For your words are yea and they are amen. I bless you for abundance. I bless you for increase. I bless you for abundance. I bless you for increase. Increase then, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Look at me. Somebody will say, Papa, this week, you know, God laid on my heart. One thing I do every year, I visit the fathers of the land and give my sacrifice for the year. Talking about Reverend and Kranchanka, all the big, I mean, cements. I know they used to come to my former church, and this place they will be coming. I used to sow. And this year, when I went, after dropping the seed, I requested a prayer. I said, Papa, you know the prayer I want you to pray for me. I want you to anoint me with oil, and I desire that my speed will be that of Elijah. Elijah, when he at wheat the chariot that all those who think I am slow in life in life at the time they realize I am far ahead he said my son I will pray for you listen those who started last 20, 2018 19 with you that they think they are here 2020 you were so zealous that things kaput this year God will give you double speed May the Lord bless. I want to do something Listen, January, let it go down for me. January is a month of sacrifice. January is the foundation of the year. So if your foundation is destroyed, the Bible says when the foundation is destroyed, what, shall, shall the, what can the righteous do? What shall the, so anytime your foundation is not laid well, it's, it's serious. So foundation for me, January is a time of sacrificing. I want you to take a seed in your hand. That's why every Sunday it looks like I make you do something. Take a seed in your hand. The Lord with this seed give me new divine ideas in the, in the desert like you open the eyes of Hagar to see water 
let it be my portion. Any amount as you are led, just speak it, walk to the altar and drop it after a short prayer. Just do that. Just do that. Just do that. Father, let it be according to me by this sacrifice an idea to make impact an idea to make impact an idea to make impact in the name of Jesus just do that lift it lift it lift it and pray shortly when you finish walk to the altar and do that for me what to, could you put the bowl here walk to the altar and drop it just drop it just drop it just walk to the altar and drop it if you finish praying walk to the altar and drop it if you finish praying, walk to the altar and drop it. If you finish praying on it, walk to the altar. It's a seed. It is something you are doing for your foundation. For your foundation. Your foundation. The sacrifice you give will determine how far you will go. Name us Shataraba. Whatever you do is a foundation. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. And Jesus, put your hands together and, and take your seat. Those who are coming can come. Hallelujah. I hope you are blessed for coming. Turn to someone and tell the person you will bear fruit in your season. So next week we'll continue the sermon. You will bear fruit in your season. I pray for divine ideas for you. I pray for new.